Hey, how's it going? It's Keith Townsend from the TTO Advisor. This week is VMworld Barcelona 2019. So in honor of that, I'm going to try to explain VMware's vSphere in the cloud strategy in three minutes or less. Let's get started. All right, so we remember the big announcement with AWS. That's the premier solution, VMware Cloud on AWS. We have the recent announcement with uh, Google Compute, and then we have the announcement with, which was now a couple of years ago, the Cloud Simple solution with Azure. How are all these related? How is VMware doing all of this? Well, first, let's sidetrack and talk to VMworld back in, oh man, 2016, I think. And IBM and VMware announced a partnership uh, based on VMware Cloud Foundation, VCF. I think we should start that conversation with VCF. VCF is basically VMware vSAN, the ACI solution, uh, some vRealize components, all in a, what does VMware call it? It's not a reference design, but let's, let's call it a reference design. Any cloud provider can adopt this design to deploy VMware cloud services and make a public cloud based on these core VMware technologies. IBM, Rackspace, go, the list goes all on of all these B type of cloud providers use VMware cloud or VMware cloud foundation to provide you a vSphere experience. Consistent design across cloud providers, they can then add their value on top. How is that different than the Azure solution, the AWS solution, and the Google Compute solution? Well, the closest thing to this is the AWS solution. VMware Cloud on AWS, it is built on vSAN, but they don't call it vCloud Foundation. There's a lot of engineering that AWS and VMware did together to make v VMware vSphere work inside of an AWS data center. It is vSphere, but components of vSphere look very different than your typical data center. How is that different? We did a video uh, 2017 with Yang Bing Lee of VMware. She was at the time SVP of storage and availability at VMware. And we talked about the drivers for vSAN and AWS. AWS wrote drivers, EC2 drivers for AWS, the EBS drivers for the NVMEs, actually does not present the raw NVMe, dri NVMe drives to vSAN, but rather presents abstracted EBS dri uh, storage so that VMware and AWS can collaborate and bring EBS to vSAN storage to expand the solution. So very integrated solution. This is, they get the bits to this super fast. It is the cloud and vSphere combined together. How is that different from what Azure and GCP are doing? Well, we did a video with Cloud Simple. Cloud Simple is the partner that provides the solution for Azure and GCP, that's them taking the VMware bits, deploying it inside of these data centers and managing that service on these two providers' behalf. And AWS, VMware is providing the service and Azure and Google Compute, Cloud Simple is providing the service. How is that different all around? Well, the important part to remember, VCF comes in kind of a tested set of binaries that across the board is kind of one product and deployed and tested as a single product if VCF is a product or not. 
in Azure and Google Compute, Cloud Sample gets the latest versions of vSphere, the actual bits, installs and manages it. None of these are in sync. Your VCF provider may on, be on different versions of vSphere or vRealize, Google Compute, Azure, all the same, AWS, VMC on AWS will always be the cutting edge solution. So did we make three minutes? Probably not, but hopefully this was a concise explanation of vSphere in the cloud. If you have any questions, hit me up on Twitter at CTO Advisor on Twitter and the CTO Advisor.com is the website, blog, talk to you next CTO.